We renew our plea to an The video, taped at Jim Williams' Seattle area home, tells of past birthdays with his daughter and granddaughter. How warm conversations over the phone link the family half a country apart. Today that telephone is silent, but we continue to hope that it might again come to life. We miss our two young ladies, and we know that Stuart and Janice McCall are also hurting terribly. He also announced he's boosting the reward fund in the missing women case, now up to $47,000, and again appealed for information. That kind of public appeal has been key to investigators throughout the last nine months because so little evidence was found inside Cheryl Levitt's East Del Mar home. I can't bring that, that kind of emotion forth because it's, it's, it's really them that's affected the most. It is difficult to go back and try and talk to people and look in a camera eye and say, I want my daughter back. You know, I do want her back. But every time that and every day that I have to do it, my stomach ties up into knots. Opening up may have helped produce the most promising lead to date, an anonymous call on New Year's Eve to the show America's Most Wanted. Someone with information police say they never made public, information that may further link a van like this one to the abductions. That one little phone call, without even revealing who they are, can make a big difference. That could be the difference in finding Susie, Stacy, and Cheryl, or not finding them.